Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yuli, and today I'm gonna be doing a review on this new collection by Elf, and it's in their new collection called Retro Oh Retro Paradise. I have a couple of things. I didn't want all of it because I felt like I didn't really necessarily need it, but I felt like maybe I should have got it. So I was like, mm, iffy about it. So I mostly got what I felt like I mostly wanted. So yes, so I got. They have a palette. It's before anything else. I do want to say a, like something before. Um, Elf Cosmetics is a good and affordable brand that if you want to try and do makeup with, like you even have eyelashes. Yes, great. Um, it's a great affordable brand, and you, that's like one brand that you feel like it's one affordable. Two, you can really try to like in depth get that makeup in their practice with doing makeup so i think that's really great i'm sorry if i'm like in a different place and there's not great lighting right now but whatever right now so anyways i'm gonna go each of them and tell you something a little bit before we get into it so the retro paradise palette has 18 shadows and it is 14 dollars Yes, this is very affordable. I do like this. It, the The price actually kind of reminds me of a ColourPop palette. That's, I think it has four, sh no, it has nine shadows. But I think this is pretty great for your buck. So yes, I do have to say that. And then I have lipsticks. There is four lipsticks, but I mostly just wanted to get two. So yes, so. There is strawberry. No, I didn't get strawberry. I got fruit punch, I think. Yes, I got tropical fruit punch. This is the one I got. And then I got the lemonade one. I think I saw something else. But I got the lemonade, which is, I think these are just supposed to be glosses. Yes, dream on lip glosses. That's literally what it says. Dream on lip glosses. Wow, it's weird. I look blue. Let's see if it's like this one. Yes, so that's it. So these were each five bucks. And yes, I will get into those a little bit soon. And then Elf does did come out with like their liquid glittery eyeshadow. So yes, this is what they came out with. So I think that's super cute and that's super nice. So yes, they came out with three of these in their collection. So yes, I got the Brady one. I'll put it somewhere. Okay. And then before, again, I haven't even opened these. I just got them and I was ready. Oh, I forgot. I got all of these at Target. Yes, they were coming out at Target. So you could easily bought them. Um, they also had like um, five brushes for, it was a set, it was like 20 bucks. And then they also have uh, this new glow up body oil for 12 bucks. They also had beauty blenders for 10 bucks. I'll put them somewhere over here. And then they also had face and body shimmers with the matching brush with it. So yes, and then they had one more thing. It's called the new primer glow oil for 10 bucks. Yes. So let me get into this. So let me start with, mm, I want to say the palettes. So again, I've not opened this. This is how it looks maybe. But take this off first. The perks about having nails. So yes. Yeah, look. There, there you go. I'll just put that right there. Um, so yeah. I haven't done my face or anything. I don't think I get what I mean when I do that. But I mean like I haven't done my foundation or anything. I'm just mostly gonna do that right now. I'm gonna do the eyeshadow right now and then I'll do the rest later. But mostly I want to do this. I am going to test the glittery eyeshadow because I do want to try that. I've gotten one before. But I don't necessarily wanted another one. But I'm like, I do want to try this one. I think I got the 24 karat one. I'll put it somewhere. I think. If not, I'll put it somewhere else. What it was. I have it somewhere. I don't know where it is. But I have it somewhere, I know. And then, ooh, you know when you like take out the tape, I guess... Some of the stickiness still had right here, so it kind of feels sticky. So, yes. So, 
let me open it. Okay. All right. Ooh, it's kind of it's pretty firm. So here are the shadows. Whoop, whoop. And then let me see. So here you have sea salt, and this one kind of has like specks on it. I don't know if you can see that. It has specks on it right there. And then we have royal. This is a really pretty color. Hmm. So yes, these are really pretty colors. So let me, I think a little bit gone on here from a different one. So yes, so let me, and then you have coconut right now. And then let me see what else. Nightlife, I think that may have really interesting names. Um, and then they have disco this purple one oh you see that so i'm gonna swatch a couple of these i'm gonna go first with disco because i think that caught my eye the most so yes so oh look there you go that's 10 minutes in for a pretty affordable so let me go in right here oh look at that that looks so pretty i should have brought it i never buy bring anything to like clean this off okay and then I'm gonna go. I actually want to try this royal one. So yeah. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. That's blue royal, almost navy. God, I might have so much on my leg. Okay, and then next one. I kind of want to go with. I think it's called spittle. The spill one. I think that's what it's called. And it's kind of like almost, I want to say, almost baby bluish. So, oh, look at that. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. God, I don't have great lighting. Let me see if I can do this. Oh, look, that helps. My iPad works as a light. <laughs> so, yes, so maybe I should have done that in the beginning. But yes, that looks so pretty. And look at the light. Mm, yes. So, I do have some brushes on me, and let me go into that, and get knocking, and let me get my primer on, and we'll start right now. Okay, now that I've cleaned my pants, I'm going to use my primer, my Urban Decay primer, and yes, so yes, we're going to do that real quick, and let's do that. Okay, now that I have my primer on, I am going, I mean, you don't necessarily need primer, but I like putting on primer because I just think it makes it pop more. It's just me. I don't know. So, yes, I am going to go with this kind of beige one. And I'm going to use, I'm just going to go into this, and I'm just going to put it all over the lid. Ooh, across the soft powder go into that okay so i'm just gonna put it right over here in the beginning of the eyelid do you guys see my little hair from my <laughs> from my bum bun so yeah okay and then i'm just gonna do the same thing to this side okay and then i'm gonna go into some color and since i'm kind of scared i'm gonna go into this kind of red one and then i'll put the actual name somewhere so i'm gonna go into this red one just like kind of um make something in the crease and i'm just gonna go and the crease i'm just gonna kind of go side to side and again i'm gonna go somewhere so hopefully this comes out good i think i did that last time too that i was Hoping that it would come out good, even though I was going somewhere else. I was like, please come out, please come out, please come out. And then let me do that to the other side. Okay, now that I've done to the both sides, and you see that kind of pop on the crease. I don't know why I did that. Um, I'm gonna go into... There's kind of a little fall out, fall out, but it's okay. I don't mind it that much. I'm gonna go into this one. I'll put it somewhere. And I'm just gonna go in with that. And I'm gonna put it in, I wanna say, 
in the middle of it, right, right here. Just kind of create almost like a transition, almost. And they're pretty easy to blend, like, you can see that, that's pretty easy, like, able to blend without any, like, difficulty or anything. And again, I'm not a beauty guru. I think I just said that once, but I'm not a beauty guru, so I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but, uh, no, I just think it's really fun just to play around with and, like, not know if you're doing a great job or not. But I think it's a good way to just figure out anyway what kind of you're doing because not everything is like oh you gotta do this right you gotta do all this no you just back in my book is that i should not like take everything to heart but it's kind of difficult and then you kind of see that introduction and now right now i am going to go in with this kind of orange color and again I said this in my last video, I use like the same brush and I don't really care because it just does. If it's like a really dark color, yeah, I'll use a different one, but for this, I think I'm good. And then I'm just going to go in the end and just kind of like almost blend it also. And then I'm going to do that to the other side too. And then... Next thing, I'm gonna go into. I wanna say maybe this kind of brownish. And I'm just gonna do a little bit just on the corner right here. Just because I kind of feel like I don't need that kind of thing. So I'm gonna do almost like a corner brush, I think. And I'm just gonna go into this one. Just gonna grab it. And I wanna put that almost in the corner. I'm gonna do that the same thing to the side. And I think it looks really pretty. I think this one looks like it's huge, but this one looks pretty. I'm just gonna clean this one up a little bit, yes. Okay, now that I've cleaned it, and I think it's fine. I just need a little bit kind of blending ish. I've always said this that I feel like one side always looks better than the other eyelid. I don't know, that's just me. It's the same thing with like doing your eye with wing. You can never get them like Exactly. The same thing with your eyebrows, too. Like, they can never be twins. They can only be, like, sisters. So, I think I kind of want to go in with this. I want to say I'm going to go with this gold color. And I'm going to put it right there. Hold on. Let me open this. So, before we're, we continue with this palette, I do want to go into this liquid um, eyeshadow. So, I've seen a, a couple... I got one from Too Faced, I have another one from Elf, and I have one from Kylie Cosmetics, Kylie Jenner Cosmetics, I think it's called. So yeah, so this one was 5 bucks, it's way cheaper than the other ones, or not cheaper, affordable. But yes, so, yes, I do have to say that. So let me open this up real quick, and show you, and then we like that. But this is how it looks. It's pretty tiny. Pretty travel size, I do have to say. Yes. So, it's pretty cute. So, I'm just going to take it out. And I actually have no problems. I just feel like they just need more shimmer, but that's pretty much just me. I'm a girl with it. If I could, I would have more sparkles in my life. But I don't feel like I'm that type of girl. But I'm, I'm trying to see where that goes. So, this is cute. It's almost like a purple color. So, yes. I'm going to go into this real quick. I'm just gonna put it right in my eyelid. I've put in the sparkles already and I've used on both sides. And you can actually use a brush. I know there's probably like makeup on it, but that's because I blended it. So let me blend it so you can see a little bit. And you can see that. And I'm gonna use one more color just for the sake, and then I think I'll put on um, eyeliner and we'll call it a day with these. So let me see. I think I'm gonna go with. 
I want to go with the black. So what if we go in with... I don't know. I kind of want to say maybe this kind of... This color. I think I already used it, but I kind of want to use a little bit more. Just, just, just to get it in there. So yes. So let me do that. I'm kind of tap it. And I'm going to place it into the corner. And then I'm just going to blend it in. And then I'm going to go back in with this red one. And I'm just going to go into it. By the way, I forgot to mention the eyeshadow. I think it's pretty great. I do have to say that. The price is pretty affordable and it's great. I do like it. They did come out with these like new colors that I kind of want to get. So I might get those and just do a review on that. One that I really want to try to get it is the Huda Beauty ones. The ones that have like two on each side of it. So yeah. So that red kind of makes it pop a little. So yes. So I think I'm going to do my eyeliner. And then I'm going to throw some eyes on right now. So let me do that. I don't know. I just like blacked out. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put on some eyelashes. And then we'll continue. So yeah. And I'm going to put on my eyeliner. And I'm going to do the one thing that is like <laughs> so long to do. If I do think like those, it to tell me. I don't know this came with kind of like uh, in a way, I guess you could say. I don't know. I just feel like every time I use these, I can never really get them. I don't know if that makes sense, but I can never really like get them like this. I prefer like the actual actual tape easers. Like the metal ones. I'm not saying they're metal, but I'm just saying. So yes. Oh here it is. These. The kind of ones that kind of help for me the best, I guess you can say that. And then while I do that, I think I'm gonna do my foundation real quick and the rest, and put the eyelashes real quick because I need to do that. Or else it's just gonna look weird. I don't know, it's just me. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say this, but I've been using the what is this? This new foundation. I think it's from the collection Happy from. Benefit, I think I think and it's the shade four to the four. So I'll put it somewhere. I don't know why, but I do. I just help the color. Obviously it's working, I think. So yes, I have been trying this out. I usually use the Smash Smashbox one. But yes. You probably like you look crazy, I know, but I don't know. I feel like I basically learned how to make up on my own. So, yeah, I'm not best at it, but I got this somehow. <laughs> and I'm probably not even doing this all of it, right? But, you know what the fun about it is? Just figuring it out the whole way. Yes, now you can tell my neck doesn't match my face. So let me, so let me do that real quick. Okay, now that I pretty much got the rest of my face on um by the way if you guys don't like my eyebrows it's okay i don't like them either just saying by the way i have a whole mess in front of me oh i forgot i was supposed to do my eyelash i got so distracted i didn't even do the one thing i was supposed to do so i'll do that to the end hold on before anything else um let me continue with the lipsticks i haven't done the lipsticks yet so yes so these lipsticks were five bucks each and yes so i'm gonna take them out real quick they got the stickers. No, they don't. Mm. I was so happy. The other one had stickers. I guess I opened it from the bottom, I think. Yeah. I guess. I don't know why I can't open this. This is childproof. Oh, I got it. I got it. Got it. Looks like I haven't put on any, like, back to it. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, any. So, it's this gloss one. It's this pink. I don't know if it's going to give me, like, a shimmer or anything. I think it's just basically gonna give me a shimmer. Let me see. Yeah. Let me let me see what do I want. I think I'm gonna go with this pink one though. So let me go in with this pink one. And let me see how it looks. But before I go into that, let me just open this 
lemon one. I want to see. I want to see if they actually smell like it. Because then if they do, that's going to be really interesting. They, I do know that Elf did like a small collection where they put like liners and then you just have the, the tube. I think one, is a, one of them is clear actually. So I know they did that. So maybe that. So these are it together. It's great for travel, I guess. The one I use, I mostly use, it's from Morphe, I think. I think it's from Morphe. And yes, so let me try this pink one. And let me see how it feels. Oh, it smells very interesting, I guess. It, does, it smells, it doesn't smell like any lipstick I've smelled before. And this one kind of smells like, it's kind of giving me like lemony smells. So I kind of like this. So I think I like this blue one the most. Let me go in with this pink one. Let me see. Let me try this one on. It almost gives me like a coconut smell. I don't know why. It almost does. So let me do that real quick. Let me see. I haven't put on any lipstick or anything, so. so good they're really soft on the lips and it doesn't seem like it's sticking to each other because i know i've had those where they just start to stick and i've recently just been into gloss i have this um it's a secret one in my bag so i've been into that so mm. i think it's pretty good you can use that shine you can see that in the glare so i'm pretty happy with these these products so yes, I think one, they're pretty affordable. You can get these at Target or you can order them online, whatever you choose. I just feel like you should order them online just because it took me a month in like in total to get them because it took so long trying to find them. I think I went to like three or four different Targets trying to find them because they only had it at Target and it was frustrating me. So yeah, but I really like this collection i do have to say i like this collection a lot and i'm definitely gonna throw these in my bag because i really like these i kind of want to try this one on top but i don't know if that's gonna be too much let me see so i really like these a lot and i do say i do recommend them a lot so don't forget to subscribe Give it a thumbs up and comment down below and I'll see you guys next time and bye!